In my worst nightmare, I never could have imagined this. General Hospital closed. And I'm the guy who did it. It is not your fault. Nice try, Monica. You really are letting Edward get to you, aren't you? Just because he wants to lay all the hospital's problems on your shoulders to assuage his conscience, doesn't mean anything he said the other night was true. What about Tom? I'm not even going to comment on all the unresolved problems Tom has about his father's death. And I wouldn't ask him for an objective opinion about anything. No matter how you slice it, Monica, it happened on my watch. I have to take responsibility. Alan, you could have worked 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you could not have prevented this. And even if you did, Kevin getting arrested would have blown it right out of the water. The least that I could have done was listen to you and postpone my surgery until I had everything under control. I was out of line. You were right on the money, Monica, but I was too busy indulging myself in my midlife crisis about my lost career as a surgeon to listen. You're determined to beat yourself up about this, aren't you? Well, it's one of the few things I'm still really good at. Well, guess it leaves me no choice. Oh, I think Alan is miserable enough for both of us. Well, Dad, for what it's worth, I spent the entire morning on the phone with every state agency and every city agency I could think of trying to raise some funds to reopen the hospital. What a nice gesture, AJ. For all the good it'll do. Dad, I gotta try. Your brother was by the house this morning. You're kidding. What was the occasion? He wanted to come by to offer to pay for Robin's HIV treatments. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, that's great. I mean, if nothing else, it's a lot like the old Jason, don't you think? I, I, mean... I wouldn't get my hopes up, AJ. You know, um, I tell you what, I got a meeting in a couple hours with the, uh, the mayor's office. What do you say I take you to after coffee? Come oh, on, let's... Thank you very I... much. I have to work. No, you don't. You can take what you need, put it on a disc, and get out of here. AJ's right. This place is too depressing for words. You know, Dad, there's a whole contingency of people from the hospital. They're down at the outback. They're drowning the sorrows. What do you say you get down there? You say a couple words, boost morale. What an excellent idea. Do a little spin control, huh? Sure. Let them know you care and that you are still on the case. That should bring them no end of comfort. Oh, Dad, are you all right? Oh. Peachy. Look who's here. 
How are things out at the mansion, Doc? Actually, I just came from the hospital. I was working on some figures. <laughs> well, a little late for that, isn't it? Hey, come on, he's trying to speak. Him Look, chance, I please. realize that you're all angry. You have every right to be, but I am doing oh. everything I can to find a solution if you'll only be patient. Oh. Patient? Pay my patient. rent. I'll be as patient as a saint. Look, I yeah. realize how difficult this is for all of you. Oh, oh, you don't have a clue. You know, why don't you go to one of your fancy clubs and knock back a few martinis and quit pretending you care about the little people? This might not be a good idea at this point. Oh, hang on, folks. I mean, last time I checked, this is still a democracy. All right, isn't it? Let's give them a Please, break here. all right? Please listen to me, all of you. Everything that can be done is being done, and we intend to open the hospital again very soon. You're not fit to follow in Steve Hardy's footsteps. All right, that's right there. That's all enough. Right, right there. Calm down. You're just calm down. down. Settle, settle down, down, or I'll have to ask you all to leave. Why don't you ask him to leave? Never mind. I don't even want to be in the same room with him. Speak Wait me. for me. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Me too. I still think it's not my fault. Thank you. I told you this was a rotten idea. And I'm telling you again not to take it personally. All the years I've worked at that hospital, I just can't believe what they were saying about me. Alan, they were just lashing out. You're the easiest target. Once again, none of this is your doing. And I must say, I'm very proud of you for standing up to them like that. Well, it can't be doing A.J.'s political career very much good. He was out of here like a shot. He told you we had a meeting. Yeah, well, for all the good it's going to do. I'm telling you, Monica, this hospital's going down, and I'm going with it. Oh, damn it. You should be home getting some rest. I should be out on the streets begging for money. Oh. Mm. Alan Quartermain. Dr. Quartermain, Stefan Cassadine. I just heard the news about General Hospital. Look, if you've called me to gloat, I'm not in the mood. Well, actually, I was calling to see if we could discuss the situation. Are you reconsidering my request for help? We should meet. <laughs> 